Hey Qcrammers, this video is the start of a bigger project to create an Arduino-based DIY CO2 incubator. It's loosely based on a project from the Pelling Lab, but simplified and updated. As usual, all useful links will be in the video description. To build the CO2 incubator, you'll need two sensors. First is the MHC-16, which is a CO2 sensor capable of measuring concentrations of 0 to 10% CO2 in the air. I got mine from Sandbox Electronics. There aren't that many options for this range of CO2 sensor. Most of the cheap Arduino CO2 sensors available max out at around 10,000 ppm, which is only 1% CO2. Oftentimes, they don't even measure CO2 directly and actually measure the hydrogen in the air as a surrogate measurement of CO2 from respiration. The only other sensor I was able to find with the appropriate specs was from CO2 meter. This was the sensor used in the Pelling Lab project. The reason I chose the Sandbox sensor was that it was slightly cheaper and I wanted to experiment with a different sensor that hadn't been documented in this application before. There are a couple important things to note about this particular sensor. First is the physical reset button you can find on the adapter board that comes with the sensor itself. This board also has a physical switch to change from UART to I2C wiring when connecting the Arduino. In this case, I've been using the UART setup, but I also tested the I2C setup and it also seemed to work. You'll just have to make sure to change the wiring to the Arduino as well. And speaking of wiring, for the UART setup, I have the black wire going to ground, the red wire going to 5 volt, the green wire going to pin 2, and the yellow wire going to pin 3. If you were using the I2C setup, the yellow wire would go to the A4 pin, and the green wire would go to the A5 pin. The second sensor is the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. The sensor is able to measure temperatures from minus 40C to 80C, and humidity from 0 to 100%. The temperature accuracy is plus or minus 0.5 C, and the humidity has an accuracy within 2 to 5 percent. Initially, I was going to use a single function temperature sensor with higher temperature accuracy, but I wanted to add the extra humidity feature, and this seemed like the simplest implementation. For the wiring, the black wire goes to ground, the white wire goes to pin 4, and the gray wire goes to 3.3 volt, since the 5 volt pin is used by the CO2 sensor. Luckily, you don't need to have much programming experience to get the Arduino and sensors working. Both the CO2 and temperature sensor have open source code examples to get started. You'll have to install some libraries as well, but that's fairly straightforward. What I'm showing here is basically just a mashup of the two example codes so that I can read both sensors simultaneously. And you can see the sensors respond when I blow on them one after the other. First, the CO2 ppm goes up significantly. Then the humidity also shows a significant jump along with a more modest temperature increase. So now that I seem to have the sensors working for the DIY incubator, I'll start working on the next step, which is having the Arduino output a response to control the temperature and CO2 concentration based on the sensor readings. And finally, if you enjoyed this video and are interested in the project, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.